Hey everyone! In today's video, I'm going to take apart this old fog machine and rewire it so that I can use this Arduino to control it. This way I'll be able to do things like timing the fog to lighting effects or sound effects, as well as add a motion sensor. That way when someone walks close enough, they just get blasted with fog. Anyway, let's get started. So the fog machine basically has two parts. This part is a remote control receiver. So we've got this little remote and it's got an on button that if I press, if the fog machine were turned on and this were plugged into this little controller input, it would start the fog. Now I'm hoping I can just take this part apart and insert the a relay or something to control the fog machine using this unit without really having to make any changes inside the main fog machine. But I am going to take the main fog machine apart just to get a better idea of where all the wires are going. So that's going to be my first step. Okay, now I've got the basic case unscrewed. And it should all just come right off. There we go. I need to remove the cap. Okay, to take the base off, I'm going to have to take off this cap portion. All right. We're in. So the cap basically just has, feeds this wire through, and there's a little filter. Ooh, looks pretty gunked up. Uh, there's a little filter that goes down into the fog fluid. We'll just take all this off for now. So here's the reservoir for the fog juice which is basically just glycerin and water. And that fog juice is going to get pumped through here, apparently into this little, I believe this is the heating coil. I'm not going to take this part apart because it seems like it could be fragile with all these little little pipes. But let's look at the wiring. So here's the main input where presumably we're going to have ground. Yes, green is attached to the outside case so that's going to be our ground. And then we're going to have the hot wire and the neutral wire Looks like the neutral wire is going to the middle pin on this input controller. And it's fused there to also go up to this little heating coil, which this is probably the temperature switch. And then the black wire, which I'm assuming is the hot wire, is going to the left. Another wire is coming off of the hot wire and going into this pump. Now, the part that I want to control is going to be this pump because this whole heating element is basically going to be switching on and off the whole time, trying to stay at the right temperature to basically vaporize this fog juice. And then to actually make the fog come out, the pump's going to turn on and shoot all that fog juice into the heating thing and then a big puff of glycerin vapor, essentially. So anyway, this hot wire here goes to the pump and the other wire connected to the pump 
goes over here to this right pin. It looks like what we need to do is connect this middle pin to the right pin because that'll complete the neutral to this little pump control wire. Now let's see. With this little gadget, which is going to plug in right here to control the thing, if we can take this apart, and have an easy access. I guess we can just use the wires even if this isn't interesting. I do want to take this apart anyway because it might be neat for another project to have a little remote control and a little radio sensor. Okay. So, ah, it's easy. So this thing is obviously our relay. Anyway, I don't really need to be too concerned with the logic in this circuit. I'm actually just going to desolder these wires and then connect the two wires that I want into this relay. And then I can use the Arduino to control the connection. So I'm going to go desolder these wires now. Okay, so I've got the wires desoldered from the board. And I've checked to make sure that these wires are colored correctly. So the green one is going to be the center pin, which is typically ground. Um, the right one is going to be this black pin, which is going to be the, the hot wire. And then the left one is going to be our neutral, which is going to be the white one. Now, when we connect this into here, see this right pin is now going to go and actually connect to... Sorry. The right pin is going to go here and connect to this black wire, which is the actual live wire. And then the right pin, the white one, is what connects through to the pump. Now the pump is also connected to make sure I'm looking at this correctly oh maybe I'm not looking at it correctly thought that the live wire connected directly to the left one here, but that's looking like that's not the case. So it actually connects to this fuse that then connects to the heater. Okay, after taking a closer look at it, it seems that I was right about what wires to connect, but I was right for the wrong reason. So always make sure you trace the wires. And uh, if any of them are zip tied like this, be sure they go where they look like they're going. <laughs> but the bottom line is this pump, if we want to activate it, we have to connect this center and what would be the left pin on this plug, which turns out to be the white and green on this plug, because that's going to connect 
the um, yeah the neutral from the input to the pump which is already connected to this pen which is connected to the heater which is connected to the the hot wire anyway let's get this thing reassembled get this connected to a relay and see if we can switch this fog machine on and off so i've got everything wired up now you see i've got the white and green wires connected to this relay and that's plugged into that control input on the back of the fog machine. The relay is being controlled by this little Arduino. And currently it has code loaded onto it so that it waits 10 seconds and then does a half a second burst of signal to the relay. So every 10 seconds the fog machine is going to send half a second's worth of fog juice through that pump into the heating element. And I've let it heat up. It's pretty hot. That's why I got this towel down. And if I plug my Arduino into this little power hub, if I can do this with one hand. Okay, Arduino's on. Relay's got power. Now in 10 seconds, should send a pulse. Hey, there we go. And if we wait another 10 seconds, it should send a second. Yeah, it looks like some of the fog juice sort of residually hangs out in the coil so you can't do like a really precise burst of fog with this machine but i should definitely be able to put this on a passive infrared detector so that when someone walks by it shoots the fog at him now i have this passive infrared motion detector attached to the Arduino and the Arduino is programmed to where when motion is detected it sends a signal to this relay for half a second and then it waits until no more motion is detected before it sends any more signal. So you should be able to move a bunch but only get a quick burst until you stop moving for a while and then come back and move again. Which I think would make more sense for like a Halloween prop like this. So I'm gonna plug the Arduino in and there's a good chance it's gonna detect my motion right away. I guess I can try to move this out of the way. Okay. And it did detect motion, probably just from me moving around, I'm trying to be really still right now. All right, now I'm going to wave my hand. Oop. I think it's still detecting me from the side. Might be a good idea to make some kind of cone that blocks the sensor. Okay, now I'm going to move my hand. That seems to work pretty well. Cool, now I have a motion activated fog machine. Well, that's it for this video. Um, when it gets closer to Halloween, I'll probably do another one to show something a little bit more interesting with this project. And I'm also going to throw out a quick reminder that if you're working with high voltage like this, 
and this thing is connected to the mains power, you have to be very careful. Don't just go taking things apart. Definitely unplug everything before you do any of this. And make sure you trace all the wires before connecting anything. I made a few mistakes, but nothing that would have electrocuted me during this video. So just be careful when you're working with electricity, as always. I didn't go into too much detail into this specific fog machine because I don't know how similar different models are. And I definitely don't want to tell you to do things exactly like I did in this video because there's a good chance your fog machine isn't wired the same way that this one is. So make sure you know what you're doing and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.